President Buhari and Egyptian President don't swear say them go them go pursue terrorism commod. And Senate now want touch light like DSS as they enter court anyhow. Three bills now nine don't pass through second reading for inside House of Reps. And two INEC workers will enter prison for 42 years. Take off, say them collect bribe. Good evening and welcome to Wazobia Max TV. This is now as it take happen. My name is Adati Owunkwe. For inside the first story, President Muhammad Buhari and the Egyptian President, that's now Abdel Fatal El Sisi, they don't come out now, come to say they go do better collab to pursue terrorism come out for inside Africa. I seen the year now with Egyptian president on top small matter for inside the Aswan discussion on top peace and development for inside Africa, what they do for Egypt. President Buari talks says top region now for West African countries now. Don't already they do better collab to fight matter of terrorism as if we say they don't arrange tax force keep. Him see come at the say matter of since terrorism now some to where be say the shell for inside the whole world. Say more collab now and better effort. Now you we need to take fight this matter. President L C C now come the hill President Buari. Say of say him show face for inside the peace summit. And as the matter be the Egyptian leader now come here and give President Buari on top the effort where be say him government now don't make to fight terrorism, particularly for inside Sinai and the border where be say day with Libya. Him come down, come they promise, say, him go work well with Nigerian government to make sure, say, they win this matter of terrorism. And we shall probably come up for that one, enter the next one. As the matter be, we yes, see it now, don't tell committee on top judiciary to sharply touch light the one where BC DSS just enter federal high court for inside Abuja anyhow to come arrest Omoye Le Showeri. As the matter be, this one now, they come one week after the matter don't be happen and 48 hours after BC the House of Representatives don't yam put for inside the matter. Chairman and Senate Committee on Top Judiciary, that's now Okwemi, Bamidele. He don't been telling colleagues now on Thursday, say the upper chamber now no fit close eye and mouth on top matter where BC country people, they put mouth on top. The lawmaker now been come under, under order 43 of Senate standing rules. As chairman of the Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matter, the reported alleged invasion of the courtroom, again, by alleged officials of the Department of State for Security, is one issue that has raised a lot of concern in different quarters in Nigeria. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the leadership and members of the judiciary are particularly concerned about this development because they believe, like the rest of us do, that the courtroom is meant to be a sanctuary. But for us as a Senate, we cannot begin to take a position or analyze issues based on conclusion without facts that we, con that we consider incontrovertible. As a young for there, Senate President Ahmed Lawan can't tell committee now well, to talk with a security John body them and say make them sharply bring back reports after one week. To find out what happened instead of uh, opening up some kind of uh, this thing. So I, I would suggest that the committee, our committee on judiciary uh, legal matters investigates finds out what, what actually happened, and then report back to us in one week. I will sharply come out from that one and enter the next story. For the next story, three bills now nine don't pass through second reading for the House of Representatives. As the matter be one be way passed through the second reading, now the one where be say they want you to change the constitution so that as matter go be now, they will get a legal backing to make education now become something where be say everybody must go through. Plus, say make it day very free and make it be say and at the right of every Nigerian citizen. The second be one be now, now the one where be say pony 
punishment go day for police or any law enforcement agent where we say no agree arrest for anybody with legislative house of for inside the country give them order to arrest. The thought be now one make them change the constitution to bring out a timetable now to submit the names of a ministerial and commissioner nominees them with their office together. Now, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, where Femi Bajabi Amila, and another lawmaker, Luke Onofiok, now them sponsor this bill. And for the next story, the group where BC they sponsor Global Center for Conscious Living Against the Corruption, they don't come out now advice before Governor of Abia State, that's now Oji Uzokanu, make him resign from his seat. Executive Director Dr. Gabriel Wambu, where we say Yan on behalf of the group for Inside Abuja on Thursday with the Tori people. He talks, say, as the matter be so, say that Oga enough it work from prison at all at all. In con the hail judiciary now as in get mind to put chief whip of the Senate for inside the prison. Dr. Wambu stick on the hail EFCC now and President Mama Dubari on top the fight against corruption. We wish to advise the convicted chief whip of the Senate to honorably resign his seat as senator representing Apia North Senatorial District. It is morally wrong for him as a convict to still represent a people from jail. We agree that he has the right to appeal on this matter and the ruling of the lower court. But we make bold to say that here it is morally wrong for him to retain or to remain the representative of the Abia North Senatorial District. He cannot effectively represent Nigerians from the prison. And as still as the young for there, the group now called the Jija, the National Assembly, they make them sharply pass the bill where BC go create special court to handle corruption matter for inside the country. We are more concerned over the long delay in the handling of such cases. The delay in the handling of these high-profile corruption cases has continued to put the anti-corruption war of President Muhammad Buhari to ridicule, both locally and internationally. As anti-corruption crusaders, we expect conviction of more public officers charged with similar high-profile financial crime cases across the country. At this juncture, let us remind the National Assembly the need to expedite passage of the bill for the creation of special courts to handle corruption matters in the country. Corruption cases should be given accelerated handling. And for the next story where we carry come, the Chief of Defense Staff, that's now General Gabriel Oloni Shakin, he talks in now only 40% of the money where he said they approved for the 2019 budget. Now in the release, give the armed forces. General Oloni Shakin and this one, when they receive the House of a Representative Committee on top of defense for inside defense headquarters, he can add the 72.6% where he said they release, give armed forces for inside 2018. Say they use them now in line with the policy uh, trust of due process without any rule for inside. Him second they held the National Assembly now for their support and say him get hope say with the support of the National Assembly say them go develop and forces where be say they very very cajured. The chairman of the committee Honorable Jimmy Benson second they held and forces now as he be say them they come all the different different security wahala where be say get for inside the country even as they no get enough money. Distinguished senators, kindly recall that in our previous interaction in the implementation of the 2019 budget and our defense of the 2020 budget proposal, we were informed that only 72.6% of the approved business and quarter capital budget allocation for the year 2018 was released. We are also probably aware that for this year 2019, only 40% of the approved capital budget allocation was released. Lamentably, this suboptimal releases has a recurrent impact on defense headquarters' desire to meet some of its operational and welfare protections. We sincerely appreciate the support of the National Assembly in general and the Senate Committee on Defense in particular for making the necessary effort to understand the enormous resources are required 
to build the operational capability of the armed forces of Nigeria. It is our hope that such understanding will translate into the necessary support in terms of where we are needed to develop an armed forces that is well motivated, trained and equipped to respond adequately to our national security committee. Still on top of the matter, the chairman and Senate Committee on Top Defense, that now Senator Ali Yowamako, he called the talk now say the visit where BC then come now to check the economic performance of the defense, make them for know how them take use the economic resources where them receive for the 2019 budget. Yes, this letter would continue to, uh, to establish an effective framework within which to ensure democratic accountability for elected authorities responsible for managing the security sector as well as for the security sector itself. For this reason, we strive to strengthen parliamentary oversight practices and where necessary reinforce such capacity. There is no doubt that the DHQ plays a, a German role in the coordination of armed forces which has effectively sustained troops in the various operations spread across the country and sub-region toward guaranteeing a steward Nigeria nation a successful peace support operations. Once again, as lawmakers, we shall continue to keep our commitment to produce and adopt appropriate policies and social framework that was to consider our security challenges, make appropriate enactments to back this up and carry out oversight functions to ensure compliance. And for inside another story, the National Union of Electricity Workers now don't suspend their nationwide strike. The talk person of Abuja Electricity Distribution Company now confirmed this news this morning for inside telephone interview with our Tory person, Goodness and Nene. According to him, they stopped the strike after they don't do meeting by 2 a.m. on Thursday. Now, the electricity workers, them don't be start strike on Wednesday, sake of the money where BC they never pay them for the work where BC they don't do, and including the one where BC they the yarn say they never pay over 2,000 uh, before workers of PHCN since 2013. Plus, say they never see them no pay over 50,000 former PHCN workers. Well, and other matter then where BC follow for hand. And we come out from inside that one, enter another Tory. People where be say they live for inside the Lokogoma on Thursday. Don't get reason now to forget the plenty wahala where be say rain cause for them this year. As two brothers, Prince Ebano, commissioned 3.2 kilometer road as part of their contribution to solve some problem. For inside the commissioning ceremony, the senator where we say they represent the FCT, that's now Philip Aduda. He can't they hold this one where we say the two brothers do. The senator now can't they tell colon better country people to do their own good work for their country. Our Wazobia Max TV to person John Emmanuel, now you get the full gist. Residents of Lokoguma don't they try to bring government attention to the badness of their road for so many years now. All their cry no bring any positive result until these two brothers can help with the construction of this road where can carry better, better drainage full one. But first of all, let me try to define who the Lokoguma community is. We are a set of persons who bought into the mass housing scheme. As they call us, we are the of the gas. But unfortunately, as we came in, Lokugoma is defined by about 40 estates. And each of these estates each has about 300 units of houses. In population, we are over 400,000. But we bought into a government initiated private. Um, public sector partnership project and um, as we bought our houses we were abandoned. As in the commission the project, Senator Philip Aduda will be the senator who they represent FCT. Not fit hiding happiness on top of the current economic benefit where this road could bring for the people of Abuja and those who they stay particularly for that area of Lokogoma. I said no matter what if you need to come and spend one minute here. Yeah. I'll come here as well and I can encourage it and encourage other Nigerians. This should not be left for government alone, but for well meaning, very spirited, well meaning Nigerians. To, and it takes a large act to do this. Oh, yes. Because if not, GP and is is forced, private, personal, to do this kind of thing. Oga, okay? I thank you very much for the love of my Sometimes, 
from my official resident here to me to go to Damagaza. It will take me about either two hours or four hours, particularly at the rainy season. I put a proposal to put this order in order when I was the executive chairman. I couldn't be able to do it. I share the museum has come from somewhere. The FCDA Executive Secretary, Engineer Umar Chibrin, will be saying that Engineer CIO Koli will be Assistant Director for FCDA Represent, talks that the FCTA don't they make up get plans to make sure say plenty more road projects come to Lukogoma area and other areas of Abuja will never get roads. And the palliative measure being put in place by the Ebano family is well appreciated. And uh, we hope that uh, in no distant time, the full development for the dual carriageway from the Oladi Bodia, which is the S20, to the Ring Road 2, which is the NS Chonica Expressway, we come on board. The brothers who dedicate this road say them go even contribute more to make sure say them reduce the suffering of the masses. But the problem we say, Money not to their ground for them to continue to they contribute their best to ensure say human beings they laugh and they enjoy. Boys, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the people with Jesus the song. I would say as an organization is the beginning of greater things to come. And let me use this opportunity to correct one impression. You see. One of our philosophies is that you don't need title to be in it. If you call me for one, I will not come. I don't need it. I am as simple as you can see me, so that when I'm walking, I don't need anybody to encumber my movement. People for the area follow you on how this project carries switch their minds. I don't even know the word I will make it. If there is something that's more than appreciation, I can make that word to, do, to create another word more than appreciation. Thank you, Mr. Obano. Please don't be discouraged. It's good. We celebrate. I God bless this man. When they support this road, we are very happy, all of them. We are very happy. This project, as it be, it will help a lot to reduce the kind of bad, bad flood where local Goma people they experience every year. This is now John Emmanuel for Wasubia Max TV. And still for inside the FCT for another story, FCT ministerial tax team now on top traffic matter. They don't condemn the one now where ABC or Kada people attack one member of the joint FCTA transportation traffic enforcement team. That's Nadanla De Ibrahim. We hear say Ibrahim been there with a team now for Apo area for Godu district where ABC then stop Okada to the operate. The chairman of the FCT ministerial tax team, Ikaro Ata, he been here with Tori people now and in contact say this attack now now don't make this victim to the battle for in life. According by Atta, after Ibrahim and in team been done seize Okada, some car wash operators them now will be see the vest on top of the matter, come rush him to free the bike. As they come they argue on top of the matter, the bike man come remove knife, come stab him for chest. And we shall probably come out for that one. Enter another Tory. The High Court now will be say sit down for inside Yola with Justice Nathan Musa day on top matter. We hear say on Thursday in jail two INEC workers them for 42 years. The sake of say them collect bribe. Justice Musa still tell the Inspector General of Police, Mohammed Adamu, and the International Police now to bring out before Minister of Petroleum, that's Nadiziani Alison Madweke, to face prosecution, sake of the 362 million naira where BC she sent to the two INEX staff for them to do while for the 2015 presidential election for inside Adamawa State. The EFCC now been bring the matter against Ibrahim Mohamed Omar and Sahobo Iya. Ia Haman, way there for INEG, plus the former Minister of Petroleum. The judge said the sentence do a BC give these people now seen a small one, sake of say they never commit any crime before. And from inside one crime matter to another one. As matter be now, we hear say officials of the Nigeria Customs Service for inside Kano Jigawa Area Command. Now we hear say now don't, they don't accuse them, say they shoot one postgraduate student of University of East London for in two leg. One Jibrin Yahaya Mekifi, where we say they come back to Kano from Kashua for Yobe State on Monday. 
We are said and shoot Mekifi car along Zakarai Road for inside Kano and immediately drive commodes for there when they see say the bullets don't wound them. As Mekifi day for hospital bed, in Konde and say the officers now no been wear full uniform and say no roadblock been the road when this one been happened. When Tori people come here and give the talk person of Nigeria Custom Service for Kano Jigawa Area Command, he sat down Baba. He and say now the command never confirmed this one where we say happen. And say criminals now free these guys as custom officers to commit this crime. Make we remember say last week police sergeant been shoot 21 year old graduate of a computer science from Neo University uh, for India, where he named now Musa Muhammad around post office road for inside Kano. My people will come back with business and sport touring. <music> For inside business, the Director General of Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, that's Namuda Yusuf, he talks in now make them come out the import duty and a tax on top solar equipment, plus batteries and inverters to improve access to energy solution. Yusuf Yansi needs they now to encourage the use of other sources of power like solar, and say the power sector never really do well. According to him, it's important to make sure of a fast promotion of rene renewable energy solution through better policies where they will bring out so that people now go fit by them. This one they call Masinit President Ahmed Lawan declares state of emergency for power sector. We see they come back with sports story. Still they where you day. For inside sports, report Yance world heavyweight boxing champion, that's now Anthony Joshua. So he go present in title belt now to President Mama Dubari for date where BC we never really know for now. Senior Special Assistant on Media and Publicity and Office of the Vice President, that's now Laolu Akande, now he and this one now, as seen the young with State House to read people on behalf of the Minister of Youth and Sports Development, that's now Sunday, Dari. My people now the to read them be this, but before we go, make we still look all our top to read them again for this evening. <music> president Buhari and Egyptian president, don't swear say them go pursue terrorism, come out. And Senate now won't touch light DSS as them enter court anyhow. Three bills now don't pass through second reading for House of Reps. And two INEC workers now go to prison for 42 years. Take off, say them collect bribe. Now here we go come out mouth on top as it take happen for this evening. My name now Adate Owenkwe.